Okay, does it seem like every time you need someone's phone number and address, you've already lost it? It probably hit the, gar uh, the garbage with the 1980s Rolodex. San Dream Team organizing editor Brenda Principali is here to show us how to organize our contacts so we can stay connected. And Brenda, you're the only editor that comes prepared with a pink, well, I thought it was a lamination, but she corrected me and said it is just a sleeve. But this is very organized. Our trend editor doesn't do this. Our travel editor doesn't do this. That's very nice. Well, I practice what I preach. So. That, you, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. So, okay, so ways to keep numbers and keep um, addresses? Right. Well, there are so many places that we have our numbers and addresses and birthdays. You know, it's in our inbox. It's in an old-fashioned address book, business yeah. cards, written on napkins. We have them in so many different places. Right. So what this is is a couple of tips of how to consolidate them all in one place. And because everybody is different, everybody would like different solutions, okay. we're going to give some criteria and some choices and let people decide which actually will work the best for them. Okay. So the first thing is with all of those different components, what you need to do is decide who is king of the hill. That is, what is the one master component that is going to have every Everything. bit of information in there? Because obviously your phone isn't going to have addresses in it. Then obviously right. your inbox might not have phone numbers. So you decide which it is. And there are a lot of really great software packages. I'm going to kind of push people towards doing it electronic. It has so much more flexibility. Right. But the main three criteria is that it's comprehensive. You can put name, phone number, address, email, birthdays, spouses names, kids names. Names. You know, you really want everything it to really there. hold everything. Okay. And then the next thing is that it's flexible. So for whatever co uh, components or categories aren't there, you have the opportunity to add them. And then the last one is that it's very useful so that for example, at holiday time, you want to print out mailing labels, or you want to do a list of that, mm -hmm. or you want to sort for somebody's birthday, that you can actually use it very easily. And I know, I know why you're pushing people to do it electronically, because when you, all the stuff you just mentioned, like even going down to the birthdays of the third kid, right. I mean, that's going to take up a whole page on, a, on an address book right. or something like that. So this way, it's, it could be stored in like just, you know, little mill of whatever the, right. a bite. And then you sort by month. Now you know everybody in that month, no okay. matter who they are. So that's really great. Okay. So now the next thing to do is to really decide how you're going to synchronize all of yeah. this. Because we do, you know, there's a great component called a card scan. Oh, yeah. And it is, you, you, mm -hmm. <laughs> you slide a business card through it and it will put it into a database for you, their, their name and all of that information. So that's really, really great. However, you can synchronize it with a PDA or with your Outlook, but you right. have to decide which one is going to be king of the hill and you have to make preferences. The other thing before you do any synchronizing with any electronic components is back up what you already have in each one of those so if right. something doesn't go right you're, oh. you're, you've saved yourself. It is the worst <laughs> when you lose your cell phone right. and you didn't back it up. Right. right. Mm -hmm. So the next thing then is as the new information comes in because it's going to come in in a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. Let's say you're out and about and somebody gives you a phone number. As you go to enter it into your phone do a couple of rules that are going to help you transfer that to that king of the hill master program. For example just put the the word new in front of their name in your phone. Oh, okay. So when it's time to go ahead and transition those, you just look for that section of all the people that are new, transition those numbers, erase new, so you don't have to go through your phone and go, wow, did I put that in or not? Okay. And so just give yourself kind of some of those little tricks that are going to help make it a lot easier. And then the last thing is just maintenance. You know, yeah. we can set ourselves on a schedule to do that on a regular basis, but we all know that maybe it might not happen every week or every mm -hmm. month, but set a real good, really good program to go back and see those so that you're going to have an opportunity to make sure that your your contacts are all in order. It's all only right. five months away from holiday card That's time. That's true. <laughs> We're going to need that. Brenda, th Brenda I'm going to have to get your number again. Okay, just remind okay. me to get that. <laughs> and you can get a hold of Brenda and the rest of our Dream Team members by logging onto our website at fox5vegas.com and clicking on more. Monica? Let me tell you something. That card reader, that's like magic. I love the card reader. That all right, thanks, cool. guys. Go